Yankees and Indians Friday night in Cleveland and an aerial display put on by our armed service members to start this one off in style at Progressive Field. How about Tyler Glass now beginning this game in style? Bottom one, bases empty. Glass now facing Michael Brantley. And that's where this guy can be tough. He's throwing 98 and then he can go off speed pitches. And here it is, the same thing. They don't have the right guy on first now to run. No, and that's a double play ball. Two complete. Three two. Strike three called. Oh, Bowers was up 3 0. But he's no match for Corey Kluber at this point in his career. Four strikeouts for the two time Cy Young Award winner. Now the 1 2 delivery. A swing and a miss. Chase the curveball in the dirt. Gomes picks it up. Tags out Wendell. Back to back case. That's a half dozen for Corey. He swings and drives one. Deep right center. This ball gone. Well, a third line drive from Edwin Encarnacion. This time the parrot said, let's take a ride. Number 29 for Edwin Encarnacion. And the Indians have a one nothing lead. Runners at the corners, two down, tribe up, one nothing. The pitch, Lindor's running, ball is blocked. It gets away from Moore. Here comes Allen, he scores! The ball was 15 feet from home plate. And the Indians manufacture a run. Now the 2 0. And Brantley lines one right back through the pitcher Stanek. And Lindor comes home from third. Oh, it's so fitting that Michael Brantley gets a hit in his last at bat in the month of August because he has just been sizzling for the Indians all month long, and his base hit makes it three to nothing Cleveland. Indians blank the race, three zip your final, just six hits combined in this one. Corey Kluber, seven scoreless, eight gains. He improves to 17 and seven on the year. Tyler Glass now tough luck loss, one run over seven with six Ks. Cody Allen, Brad Hand recording the final six outs for Cleveland. Meanwhile, during the game, the Tribe acquiring third baseman Josh Donaldson in a trade from the Blue Jays.